Rosa Parks was a simple seamstress who became a symbol of courage and dignity. She was a quiet woman who sparked a loud revolution. She was Rosa Parks, and this is her story. Rosa Louise McCauley was born on February 4, 1913, in Tuskegee, Alabama. She grew up in a segregated society where black people faced discrimination and violence from white people. Her grandparents were former slaves who taught her to respect herself and stand up for her rights. Rosa said, I learned to put my trust in God and to seek him as my strength. Nothing could touch me without his permission. In 1932, she married Raymond Parks, a barber and an activist for civil rights. They joined the local chapter of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People NAACP, where Rosa served as the secretary. She also worked as a seamstress at a department store. Rosa said, I did not have any special interest in civil rights before I married. But after I married, it became important to me because it was important to him. On December 1, 1955, Rosa boarded a bus after work and took a seat in the first row of the colored section. The bus driver asked her and three other black passengers to move back when more white passengers got on. The others complied, but Rosa refused. Local laws dictated that African-American passengers sat at the back of the bus while whites sat in front. If the white section was full, black people had to move or stand up. Rosa Parks' arrest sparked outrage and support from the black community. They organized a mass boycott of the buses, led by Martin Luther King Jr., a young pastor who became one of the most important leaders of the civil rights movement. The boycott lasted for 381 days, during which black people walked, biked, carpooled or used other means of transportation 42. They faced harassment, intimidation and violence from white supremacists, but they remained peaceful and determined. The boycott ended on December 20, 1956, after the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that segregation on public buses was unconstitutional. The boycott was a huge victory for civil rights and inspired other movements across the country and around the world. It also showed the power of collective action and nonviolent resistance. Rosa Parks faced many hardships and challenges after the bus boycott. She and her husband lost their jobs and received death threats from white supremacists. They decided to leave Alabama and move to Detroit, Michigan, where they had relatives. In Detroit, Parks continued her activism for civil rights and social justice. She worked as a secretary for Congressman John Conyers Jr., a prominent black leader, from 1965 to 1988. She also founded the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute for Self-Development, a non-profit organization providing young people with education and leadership training. She received many honors and awards for her courage and contribution, including the NAACP Spingarn Medal, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the Congressional Gold Medal, and a statue in the U.S. Capitol. She died on October 24, 2005, at the age of 92. She is widely regarded as the mother of the modern-day civil rights movement in America.